Happy Friday! It is 6.32 a.m. So I was on PM Reserve last weekend. This weekend I'm on AM, Reser AM Reserve. <laughs> um, I was assigned a trip last night. The company can do that. They can't call me until 3 a.m., but they can put a trip on my board. And then I have basically till 3 a.m. to acknowledge it. So today we're doing three to Kansas City. Oh, we got to fly in the house. It's that time of year again. And I'm flying lead again. Again, not my favorite, but we ripped the Band-Aid off last weekend, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to pack up. We'll head out. And I will be home Sunday, I think about 1 in the afternoon. So that's the nice thing about an AM is getting home early. So I'm going to get everything in my food bag. Ooh, mess over there. Get <laughs> into the car and we'll be on our way to the airport. So I didn't get the greatest parking today, but that's okay. That's all right. I'll do a little walk. I got time. So we have been parking as employees. If you're familiar at all with Denver International Airport, there is an east and a west parking garage, which is attached directly to the airport, and an east and a west economy lot. So you go under, like you go on the first floor of the parking garage to get into the building. You just walk in. Now they do have shuttles that you can take in the East Economy lot, but I always walk. And so they've had us in here since, you know, you know, you know, COVID. Um, but because travel has picked up so much, the airport needs this lot back. So they're gonna put us back at our um, employee lot. So that means a bus ride. So normally I leave my house an hour before I have to be here. And since we're parking in the East Economy lot right now, that gets me here really nice and early. Um, but if I'm going to be parking back in the regular lot, the buses, the buses can be a little bit iffy. They, and then they're only going to be allowing 31 people on a bus. You should see them sometimes packed at whatever the rush hours when all the employee people, while well, the employees come in, the buses can be packed. I don't know how they're going to maintain that. I don't know. So <sighs> this is my last trip in the East Economy lot. I've enjoyed it. I know a lot of other airports have actually even put their flight attendants in a parking garage, which would have been awesome, but just this lot has been awesome. So thank you airport for this little respite of the East Economy lot. We'll be back landside next week. So we're going in, um, three today, three legs, which means three flights to ultimately Kansas City for a short overnight, basically just sleeping. Um, yeah, let's go do this thing. Let's go get some more coffee. <laughs> so before I get too far into the vlog, um, my name's Elizabeth. I'm a Denver-based flight attendant. I always forget to introduce myself, so welcome to the channel. I vlog about my travel as a flight attendant, mommy life, flying with the kids, travel in general, and come along for the ride. So I'm glad I got my coffee on the other side because the line at Einstein was probably 20, 25 deep. There was only one person in front of me. So glad I got it. It's really hot. I need to put some ice in it. It keeps burning my tongue. All right, I'm gonna get my safety checks done and put some ice in my coffee. We'll start our day.
All right, we're in Kansas City. 10 hour duty day. I'm gonna eat, maybe watch a little Netflix, maybe edit and go to bed. We have to be in the lobby tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. It is currently six, it's not 6.40, is it? I can't see my watch. Oh, it is, it's already 6.40 p.m., yuck. There's like some sort of biker convention here and there's probably a hundred motorcycles in the parking lot. Okay, I think I can show them to you. You guys can see my spectacular hotel view. All right, look at all those motorcycles. That's just some of them. And then it's like a Harley Davidson thing. I'm pretty sure they're all Harleys. And then there's some in the back of the parking lot. So yeah. All right, pretty standard room. Don't wanna make anyone ill. One king bed. Bathroom, Let's see if there's a fridge. The ice maker's broken on this floor. There is a fridge. So I gotta take that into consideration for my timing in the morning. All right, I'm gonna take a look at my sushi. The <laughs> shuttle driver dropped my food bag. You probably can't tell, but maybe you can. I'm not in the same room, it looks the same, but I'm now on the 10th floor because the motorcycles that were going in and out of the parking lot were so loud. We were on the second floor and the motorcycles were so loud. So I didn't sleep super well last night and I have to be in the lobby at 5.30 a.m. It is currently 8.45, I need to hop in the shower, pardon me, and go to bed. And I was just like, I'm not gonna sleep because you know, the bikers are, they're rallying and what they're doing is just getting started and they're gonna be driving in and out of that parking lot all night and I'm just not gonna sleep. So I went downstairs and I nicely asked for a different room on a higher floor. I could still hear the bikes, but nothing like being on the second floor right over the parking lot. So this is only the second time I've really ever had to move rooms, but totally worth it sticking up for myself and advocating for myself. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys bright and early in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is 5, 10 a.m. or somewhere around there. I just went and got ice. I'm going to ice my food bag. I slept good last night. I'm so glad. I'm gonna move out of the bathroom. It's echoey, even if it's orangey in here. I'm so glad that I called down and changed my room last night. That was a great decision. I slept pretty darn good. So, um, I heard the motorcycles, but I have a, like a sound app on my phone. Where's my coffee? So it was not too bad. Slept good. Have, we have one flight to Fort Lauderdale today. Yay. Um, we get in really early, somewhere between 9.30 and 11.30 AM. And we have 18 uh, and a half hours in Fort Lauderdale. Not at the same hotel as I was last time. So the video for my last Fort Lauderdale stay will be up here. This, um, so I'm bummed about that. The That hotel is my favorite because you walk out, it's right on the beach. This one is not, it's um, closer to the cruise port. You can walk to the beach, which isn't awful, but I love the option to just stay down the beach for an hour, go back to my room. I just like the flexibility. So I'm gonna check out the pool today, try to decide if I want to go to the beach or if I wanna hang by the pool and get some stuff done. Um, I need to be able to edit the video that's up there. So, all right, I'm going to ice my bag, get everything packed up and head on out the door.
right, so we're on the plane in Kansas City and it's a Max. Yay, it's my first Max. I'm so excited. The lighting's weird. I can't remember how to change that. I don't know how I feel about it. It's a little bit dark, but I'm so excited. Yay, I can't wait to see what it sounds like in the air. So, all right, safety check's done. We are waiting for our pilots. We're doing, again, one to Fort Lauderdale. All right, at the hotel. We're at a different hotel this time in Fort Lauderdale. Let's open the window. Oh, not the, the ocean. Oh, I'm really close. <laughs> so not the ocean, but it looks like a view of downtown, the parking lot and the fuel containers for the cruise ships. All right, let me flip you around. All right, I'm assuming that's downtown Fort Lauderdale. Flip around. We're right across from the cruise ship. Oh, there's another window over here. Cruise ship ports. Oh man, I miss, I miss cruises. Yeah. Oh, there's some water. All right, pretty standard room, King. With a little chaise. I think it's funny when the TV's on. I gotta find the remote. Oh, there it is. It's a mobile remote. All right, I'm gonna get ready and go to the beach. So I'm back from the beach, got a little bit red on my shoulders, but I got an adult beverage on my way up. It's some sort of mango passion fruit. It's really good. It was really fun going to the beach with my crew. One of the crew members actually has a friend in town, so he went to see him. And then me and the other flight attendant, we took an Uber back. We split an Uber back. Um, so it was about a 30 minute walk. We actually walked to our other hotel because that's where the beach is. So it was really fun. It was nice to I actually got in the ocean this time and sat out again, I got a little red, just a little. And when I, before I left, I put my dinner in my new gadget to heat up. So let me show you. Hot Logic. And I got a fun houndstooth one. 
A lot of flight attendants carry these on the road. They're kind of like a slow cooker for your leftovers. You just put your item in here. And it heats up. So it takes about 30 minutes to probably an hour and a half, depending on the food and how dense it is. And so I just have a Tupperware container, Star Wars. It's plastic. It's again, kind of low and slow, kind of like a crock pot for your leftovers. So it won't burn it, it'll just keep it warm. Those are awesome. I will link below where I got it. And then I have my normal waffle maker that I brought along, but I'm gonna get the food out. It's butter chicken with the wrong kind of rice, but with rice, it's like a jar of sauce that I got at Costco, I believe. It was really good, the kids ate it. I love butter chicken. So I'm gonna set up, get eaten, and get editing. It is 4.40 a.m. in Florida. That means it's 2.40 a.m. in Colorado. I told my husband I would not call him. So it is dark out. It's day three, go home day. I didn't sleep the greatest. I kept waking up. So I can do this, we can make it. I really got sunburned. <laughs> um, I don't know, I, I sprayed before I left the hotel. I'm not really sure if the walk there, if I sweat or if the bag rubbed the sunscreen off my shoulder or if I just needed to reapply sooner. You know, it's the beginning of summer, figuring it all out again. So, all right, day three, let's get out of here. So I'm home and it is misty and foggy in Denver and I'm going to say goodbye. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I do want to get on my soapbox for a minute. Um, this is my opinion. This is not my airline's opinion. I have to enforce the federal mask mandate. Now, I didn't have any tra trauma, trauma, drama on this trip at all. Everyone was really good. Uh, it's not fun. I don't like being the mask police. I didn't even fly through the whole pandemic. It's just not fun. So please wear your masks. It's not our choice. It is a federal mandate. It has been extended till September. It's May 16th today. So if you are planning on travel this summer, also practice with your kids. I hate the fact that kids under the age of five, two and up have to wear masks. I think it's stupid. Um, because it's just so difficult. I would rather focus on the adults and they're the majority of the passengers on the plane. So that's just my personal opinion. You can differ, 
But if you're flying this summer with your kids, they're not used to wearing masks, practice, please. Uh, wear them in the car, practice, because you just don't know what crew you're gonna get. I don't want you getting kicked off a flight because honestly, I think it's dumb, but that is the law right now, or the mandate right now, it's not the law. Yeah, I don't like it, but it is what it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you want to watch another vlog, I'm gonna link one on either this side or this side. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the sky.